Welcome back to Field Dev. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a 2D orbit system inside of Unity 2D. So let's get right into the video. So the first thing we're going to do is drag our sun into the scene view, and I'm going to rename it to sun. And it's not in the center of the screen as we can see, so to quickly fix that, you right click on the transform component and hit reset. So now let's write our single line of code. To do that, make a script, call it whatever you like. And now let's get typing. So the first thing we need is one variable called speed. Once again, you can name this whatever you like, but I'm gonna name it speed. And then we need a void update. And actually this is gonna be float, not void. I don't know why I put void, but anyway. So the only line we actually really need to write is this line. So transform.rotate, and we're gonna go a new vector free, and we're gonna put 0f, 0f, and speed. Because our uh, thing is float, we need to make sure we're putting f, not just zero. And also we're gonna multiply it by time dot delta time like that. So that's all the coding we need to do in this video. So the next thing we're gonna do is drag our earth into the scene view, name it earth and parent it to the sun and reset the transform. And then move it down a little bit. So then we go to our sun and we add the rotator script and we put it at 10. And now when we go into the view, we can see we've got some sort of orbit going on here but we don't actually want the sun to be rotating. So what we do is we unparent the earth from the sun, create a new object, reset the transform and call it earth rotate point, just like that. And now what we do is we parent the earth to the earth rotate point and give the earth rotate point the rotator and then say 15. Remove the component called rotator on the sun as well. And now when we hit play, we can see the earth rotates around the sun, but the sun doesn't rotate either, which is just what we want. So the next thing we are going to add is the earth rotating as well, because not only does the earth orbit around the sun, but also rotates itself and give it a speed of 15. And we can see the earth rotates around the orbit and it rotates like it does normally. So the next thing we're going to do is add the earth's moon. So we name it, not moon, moon. And then parent it to the earth and reset the transform. And then we're going to move it below like that and actually we're going to move the earth a little bit so it has room to orbit and then we give it the rotator component and give it rotate speed of 15 and that is all you need to do to get the moon rotating around the earth but now let's add another planet in to finish off the tutorial so all we need to do for that is scale up the camera so it's easier to add it in and we move the earth or we can actually keep the earth where it is and then we can duplicate earth rotate point name it Mars, rotate point, and delete Earth. And then we add Mars into our scene, and then parent it to Mars rotate point, and then reset the transform again. And we move it below the Earth. And Mars rotate point needs to be slower than the Earth rotate point, so we'll give it a rotate speed of about 12. And then what we do is add the rotator component to Mars, give a speed of 15, and hit play. And there we have it. That's our small simulation of orbit inside of Unity with just one line of code. If you found this video easy or helpful, make sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.